Hello everybody and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be painting a candy apple here on some Arches oil paper. I'm just laying out the uh, initial sketch here. It's a 4x4 four four painting. It's fairly small, but it's on a 5x5 five five sheet of Arches there. And so I sketch out the areas of reflection, the main areas of reflection. Sort of isolate them and keep them white. Throw in the base color of red. And the Arches really absorbs the uh, fluid oil colors here. I'll have to go over again. You'll see I'm adding a dark background just to make the candy apple pop. And as I get closer to the stem, I'll start adjusting the value a little bit lighter and adding a little more blue in there to bring out the chroma a little bit so you can notice it a little bit more. There you go. Not worrying too much about edges because I can always go over that ever over again, right? And then I'll start moving into the reflections themselves. Since this photo was taken outside, um, you get a lot of the blue reflections in there as well. So since I had the blue on my brush, just moving right into the reflections, kind of seeing them where I, s putting them where I see them on the candy apple itself. In general, not precisely though, and getting into the dark areas of the candy apple coating. And at first, I think this is dark enough, but you'll see me adjust it a few times. Once you get the other values in, I you'll notice that it has to get darker. And then from there, just bring in the richness of the candy apple putting in everything really loosely not worrying about two edges or going exactly to my line it's all representational anyway right so adjusting the reflection there a little bit and as I come back in I think it's a little bit yeah it's a little bit lighter and a little bit warmer red it gives it a little more richness to it and you'll see me add various layers like this throughout going into another mixture coming in with a little oil and dark this time getting that inclusion or the deep darks in there and I'll adjust it again so I get that edge there and the bottom right and I have to adjust it with the darks create a soft edge there just so uh, it's not so important it doesn't stand out and then bringing in some really warm colors like this uh, pale yellow interesting enough though it really creates a nice sense of warmth to the candy apple but also gives it a sense of reflection as well right there's so many different levels within the reflection softening an edge up there bringing in some lighter violets You'll see me soften that edge a little bit more in a second there and just creating a, a sense of glow. Later on, you'll see me provide a line there that really isolates it and, and, and helps it out. Putting the deep violets in the, in the shadows as well. Kind of tying everything in together. And moving into... What are we moving into? Some lighter violets within the red itself. And might as well just bring them into the reflection as well. And then moving into some richer reds within the, the main lighted candy apple. And I think we're going to start working on the stem here. Getting in the uh, the warm side of the stem. Putting that color in and then cooling it down with a little bit of blue for the shadow side. The value is not much difference. Maybe a little bit darker. But you can see there's a, just a hint of warm and cool to create a sense of light and shadow. And where that stem meets that candy apple coating it gets really orangey there. You can see that. And as that stem gets deeper, it gets covered with a lot more candy apple, so it gets really dark. So here's the next level of darks within that area. And adding various spots and splotches throughout, which I'll add highlights to, to create a sense, to create a sense of uh, greater reflection. And here's some fun spots, just putting in uh, wiggly lines of reflections that happen to be in the environment at the time. And I add one down at the bottom right hand corner and it stands out like a sore thumb and you'll see me adjust it throughout this painting that one right there that one ended up bugging me bringing the reflections into the core area of the apple where the stem is and adding some highlights that are blue just for temperature variation temperature variation is key to make a really vibrant painting in my opinion and then putting in some uh, blues without or throughout Adding a little more deeper blues into that reflection there. It gets a little sloppy, but you'll see me fix that. I'm trying to fix that uh, reflection at the bottom. It's still bothering me. I'll eventually wipe it out and make that whole area a little bit darker. and It'll bring the attention back into the apple. I'm moving into just a little more tweaks with the squiggly lines. The warmer reflections there. And uh, adjusting with my brush. And that's that violet line up top there that kind of isolates that and gives it a sense of an edge. And now we get into the deep, deep darks of the sort of the inclusions of the thickness of that candy apple coating. And you need those rich darks to be to make it look like it's reflective, right? Because you always have a light and a dark within um, reflective objects. Adjusting that 
reflection there so it looks like it wraps around the candy app a little bit more adding some various colors of warming school throughout to give a little more sense of reflection and I'll come in and sign my name on the bottom right hand corner there and with that we'll remove the tape for the final reveal so you can get a sense of how clean the painting looks without the tape and this is the magical moment of course it kind of what we all wait for and that's the finished piece in my impressionistic style looking at the uh, where the stem meets the core of the apple and then down below in the deep reflections where I signed my name and then moving up into the stem area where all the reflections really happen so if you've enjoyed this video please like and share it with your friends your help is very much appreciated and if you want to see me paint something specific please leave a comment below